Alrighty then. Uh, sorry about uh, a bit of a delay today, but yeah, we're here and we're streaming. Okay. So, um, yeah, let's just get into it. Um, hmm. Okay, so let's do a quick recap uh, before we start, um, like we used to do, uh, you know, in the earlier episodes. Um, so, yeah, this is, the base is looking beautiful, as always. Uh, in the last stream, um, we did a few things. One, we fixed up uh, the sulfuric acid thing that the, the, the biters destroyed uh, that is the first thing that we did i think um after that uh we went and uh uh set up a new um iron plate mine or uh, iron ore mine basically and then we're smel smelting on site and feeding that into a into a train uh for that for that to get shipped um back to our base uh right here this one right here yeah um wait for it uh there we are nice yeah this is not the first shipment this is i think what the second shipment of uh, iron plates that we're getting from that uh, outpost so yeah that's that's uh supplementing our iron demand for sure uh you know this is the iron that was coming in uh you know from before and uh it's not yet used completely but then we're just supplementing more into it so that's that's a good thing um yeah looking at this graph we have what is this 36 by 121 so i think that's uh how much we're producing versus how much we're consuming so we're consuming a lot of iron yeah, so definitely it was something that was needed. Um, there's a bunch of mines uh, that are dead over here. This one, this one. We'll pull these up today. Um, then after that, I think I remember we, uh, you know, killed off. Uh, uh, there was a spawner base over here, uh, a spawner spawner nest over here. Uh, we killed that off because that was bothering us um we extended the mall a bit uh because we wanted some of these things automated right so we got efficiency tools in there and uh we got uh all of these buildings uh chemical plants refineries um uh, etc etc uh and then we also got some power structures uh you know uh battery related stuff um uh, and the petroleum uh, generator um and then this guy this guy this guy crusher uh green uh what's it called the greenhouse yes um sorry about that i'm a little uh, hazy today just eaten so um yeah so that's where we are and uh, we also uh, towards the end uh, we cleared off the entire island of biters okay uh there's no more biters on our starting island but we still want to uh make everything efficient we started by doing you know uh, by uh putting in some modules into some of these guys um this one's dead so you know we can reuse the modules to some place else um but uh the idea is that we have uh you know even though we don't have any biters we still have evolution to uh, you know worry about and uh, because of that uh, we you know it, it's in our best interest to uh, put efficiency modules in everything and that's why we uh, you know started automating efficiency ones and twos in the last one we have I think wow we have a hundred of efficiency ones and uh, 50 efficiency twos which is 
Um, yeah, we just want some ski of these. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's that. And at the end of the last episode, we went out looking for titanium because we are at that stage where we are getting to robots and uh, robots need titanium. So that's the thing. So what we did was we took, we built a hovercraft because we could and we went out in the, into the world and we found a bunch of things. So we found this one island which has a tiny uranium patch, right? Not necessary now, but for later. Uh, like at least it's interesting that it's there. Uh, we also found some copper over here uh, and uh, raw immersite, right? And some more uranium. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is a bigger island, and we we also placed uh, this contraption over here, um, which will help us uh, kind of explore some of these chunks, right? Like for example, this is a chunk that is. Uh, that the radar is uh, generating for us and revealing more and more of the shroud uh, and then we came down here and we found a, sort of a different island we believed it to be a different island but apparently it's like the extension of the same long island and uh, yeah we, we placed another uh, radar over here uh, yeah it's dead right now but during the day it'll it'll work again uh, there's a bunch of things that we found here. We found a titanium ore uh, patch, tiny one, 164k. That's good enough. We found another titanium ore, 53k, and a third one, right? So these two, I think we ignored in the last one. We didn't even discover these in the last one, right? I just we just discovered this one, and then there's two more. That that's great. Um, we also discovered a copper ore and a stone, and also another raw immersite. Right. And on top of that, we also have a little bit of like 50k raw rare metals because we're playing with K2 Immersite is and uh, Immersite and raw rare metals are going to come into play uh, pretty soon. Um, yeah, this is back on. We don't need it to be fast. You know, we don't need it to be uh, doing its job at like the bestest speeds possible. Uh, but it managed to discover all this, you know, I think in like an hour or so, so that's good. Uh, even when, uh, it's kind of starved for power, so that's good. Yeah. We don't, we don't need like protection over there. Um, yeah. So a bunch of stuff, I think we can, uh, get all of the materials. So these are all of the materials that we need. Uh, actually not all. Um, uh, we also went down from here looking for another island and uh, we found a couple of sea mounts over here which are pretty interesting uh, this is for dredging we will do some dredging uh, later on and i have to uh, for progression uh, and then we came here to find an arctic island which has iron ore plenty of it good amount and also coal so yeah so between the ones that we discovered uh, in the last episode or in the latter half of the last episode, I think this is a good enough amount to get things started, right? Or, uh, you know, with the with extra copper, extra stone, and extra coal, and extra iron. Uh, you know, these are, these are good amounts to uh, basically do some outposting uh, and, uh, and, you know, treat these as, uh, as supplemental uh, you know, uh, inputs to our factory. Uh, so yeah, we, we definitely found some interesting stuff. Uh, today, uh, the plan is, let's go into tags again. And, uh, uh, yeah, okay. Let's go into our uh, to-dos. Oh, this is messed up again. Come on, man. Every single time it happens. Uh, I'm going to disable everything. Okay, yeah, uh, this is this happens usually because you know whenever I load a different uh, save or a different mod list um, and then come back to this one, it, it gets screwed over. So, not 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 a great thing to uh, have. Um, anyways, I think uh, we are uh, good. 
because we can do, do this really quickly um this one uh search factory uh module inserter sandbox rate calculator and finally uh the to-do list to-do list we're gonna move up to somewhere over here next to the ghost counter so that it you know we can access it we we have like a place to access it uh same for the rate calculator i think rate calculator is something we use a lot uh so it makes sense over here all right looks good uh okay um so looking at the to-do list we have efficiency everywhere which is something that we can get started with because we have the materials for that we were waiting for these things in the last one but today we can actually go into it uh we have to go into advanced oil right so to make lubricant because a lot of things that um you know so titanium mining titanium needs lubricant so we need to do lubricant before we get to titanium uh and also um robots and faster belts and faster engines and all of those things uh need lubricant lubricant is pretty important to the factory uh and uh we'll, we'll put that on the on the fluid bus that we have here right we, we do have a fluid bus wait where is it yeah so we have a fluid bus with uh three things flowing right now w water petroleum and sulfuric acid uh, the fourth thing that will add to the uh, to the fluid bus is definitely uh, lubricant because it's kind of used uh, in a lot of places um so lubricant is something that we have to do before we get to titanium and titanium is something we have to do before we get to um uh bots right robots uh and then we can get, go forward and uh i think biomethanol power is something we can do right now right uh biomethanol is did we research this biomethanol we did not research this we should definitely should yeah also bioprocessing is pretty important uh because we're out of uh uh biomass we used up all the biomass we kind of have to go to other islands and uh and figure that out so it's, it's good to good to uh automate it at this stage uh enriching uh is something that we're gonna have to do as well because uh you know our, like we're, we're still dealing with the poor recipe for iron and copper smelting um yeah we're still doing like a i think the default uh rastorio recipes are um let's see yeah, so that's a two to one, right? Ten to five. That's a two to one. So two over to one plate. That's that's pretty expensive. So I think it's a good idea to get this started. Uh, biofuel is also something we can get into, um, which is just an, uh, an outcome or like a side sort of thing that we can make out of uh, biomethanol. Um, definitely. And there's enriched titanium. Ooh, okay, this is new. Each enriched enriched titanium ore purifying with hydrogen chloride and water, improving the final yield. Produce dirty water as a byproduct. So that's interesting because ore enrichment is um, sulfuric acid, but this one is hydrogen chloride interesting and and the recipe is nine uh oh yeah okay i think it's the same recipe as as these guys yeah it's it's, it's the exact same recipe okay so yeah that's 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 a, a good uh dredging is also something that we will get to uh we also have some missions that we can pick up uh like Robotics, which we will definitely do once we have titanium and you know, that's imported and everything. Uh, we can do um, uh, electric energy distribution too, which is uh, substations. Uh, and then we can also go into lasers. Uh, 
uh, mining productivity too is something that is interesting as well i think that like this is kind of underrated uh, of a tech uh, definitely useful to uh, as early on as possible um flip through a rocketry smart super interested in these lab research i guess we can uh, do this one and uh, um substations and this one i hope we can get to that today because we have like a full list to cover uh for that before we get to that i think uh, also we also uh, just um researched uh personal equipment so belt immunity needs titanium plates which is kind of sad uh portable solar panels need titanium plate like these are the level one uh tier ones right so it's it's kind of i mean i have a modular armor for some time now but there is no equipment to place in it so it's kind of weird uh we can make night vision equipment but how will we power it oh wait we can power it yeah, we did research uh, this. We can use a burner generator for powering night vision equipment. Okay, uh, can we also make a battery? We don't have any batteries on us. Huh. Yeah, I think a battery would be nice. Uh, yeah, we are not making uh, batteries at all and I think uh, we definitely need a lot of batteries. So I'm going to add another to-do for batteries. Yeah, that's something that we'll do and then we'll get to robots. So, yeah, and we have sulfuric acid right here, so that's a good thing. Um, okay, awesome. Oh, uh, so let's grab those uh, efficiency modules and uh, use them. Actually, use them. Sure, sure. All of you, all of that, all of that, all of that. Actually, we can drop uh, efficiency points back in. Uh, we just need uh, we need one of each, actually. Okay, let's get rid of all the miners, which uh, are not working. Uh, and then this, this, this. this. Uh, yeah, so we have a, a mod called. Um, copy paste modules which lets you do this you know you have a certain setup of an f2 and an f1 uh, which totals to 50 percent of energy consumption reduction right so that's minus 50 and that's so totals to 80 percent right and 80 percent is the exact limit that we want to hit so dropping these in by just uh, right clicking and uh, left clicking copy pasting essentially uh, is brilliant. Oh yeah, so this was two F1s, but then we replaced that with, uh, you know, the configuration that we copied over. Okay.
this is going to uh, this guy oh huh, okay we are apparently making some concrete okay sure why not There we go. That's for the stone. I think we dropped our stone into the chest over there. Uh, that's for the copper. We'll actually do the one that is working the hardest part. So this one. Uh, why are you not outputting? Oh, you are outputting. Okay, we just do all of it. Anyways. Nice. All right. Now we should see significantly reduce uh, pollution. Yeah, these two. Uh, that's it. Looking at our pollution now. Oh wow! Look at that. So miners are all the way. Like comparing to 10 minutes ago, uh, where were you? Oh, it's this one. I am researching stuff, so they should be all firing up, you know. Um, it says that only two of these electric mining drills are uh, polluting. Yeah, 33, 30, but that's more like it. Yes. So, okay, now the biggest cause for our pollution is these boilers. These guys right here. Uh, and we can't even module them. We're using the uh, coke uh, to power this whole thing up. Uh, we can use a better fuel for sure. Um, looking at this we can um, use solid fuel solid fuel has a fuel pollution of 150 percent still a lot uh, coke has a uh, 225 percent of uh, um, fuel pollution and this is 150 percent so major reduction right uh, but we want even less the regular fuel is 100 percent Okay, it just breaks even. That's it. Um, so I think it will be a good idea to replace the fuel over here. You know, maybe we should, like, we can't do that immediately because we have to, like, mass produce the fuel that we're talking about and then send that all over the place. Uh, not just here, it goes to the other mines also, which are the outposting mines. But, you know, for now, I think uh, we'll just. Uh, Set up like a to do that's something that we can get to next time um biofuel okay so there's regular fuel which is 100 percent fuel pollution uh biofuel is 50 percent of fuel pollution so that's less that's half uh it's and it's not a good vehicle uh fuel apparently uh oh, it makes vehicles slow so yeah, not a not a good thing to do. Uh, I guess yeah, I guess we'll we'll just uh, fuel um, all of us melting uh, with biofuel. That's something we can do. Sure. All of us melting and all of our uh, the steam power and everything. Uh, pollution is going down. I think uh, I remember in the last stream uh, yesterday uh we were looking at around um 8.2 8.3 percent is what it went up to and now it's coming back down to 7.6 percent that's a good idea that's 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 a good thing um okay uh we can also uh, plop down uh efficiency modules into all of our assemblers uh 
but the truth is that our assemblers are not used as much. Uh, you know, they're not in play all the time. You know, um, so it's kind of okay if we don't want to do that. You know, and we we can play uh, uh, wait for that. So that's okay. I'm gonna uh, drop these into this chest. Uh, the efficiency modules that I have, even the speed one. Uh, and then when someone asks for it, they can sort of go into the next one. They are actually already propagating through the system. Wow, yeah, they are already where they, are, they were supposed to be. Nice. There are some efficiency tools as well. There was still three of them in there. Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess those will also propagate over. Yeah, once we do efficiency threes, then those will be needed and uh, they will go to where they need to go. Uh, so I guess we can mark this as done for now. Efficiency everywhere. Yeah, and delete this. We can also plop down these efficiency modules here and here. Um, it's usually a good idea to do that. I guess we can do that here uh, because we need a lot of iron. And I'm guessing the train that is bringing in iron is like going back and forth constantly. Where is that train? Uh, where's, a, where's a large and train to? There are no trains at the stop. What the hell? There was just a train here. I, I I remember just seeing it. We saw it at the start of the episode. What? Uh, uh am I hallucinating? There is you, and then there is copper. Um. There was definitely a train that was bringing in the iron. We, we saw it just now. Did it get destroyed somewhere? And I forgot about it or like I didn't notice it or something? That's weird. You know what? Okay, sure. I have materials for another train. Uh, we're gonna make another train. Iron is pretty important. Uh, I'm guessing the wisps are destroyed because even though we do not have any biters, we still have wisps uh, to deal with, and they're pretty nasty. Um, yeah, this way it, it gets uh, refueled automatically. Copy, uh, paste, but uh, instead of lead, uh, so yeah, we have this mod which is pretty convenient. So instead of lead provider, we want it to be iron provider. If instead of lead con uh, consumer or requester, we need an iron plate requester, and instead of this, we need you and apply it. And uh, do that. Oh, it's already full. That's good. Okay. It's gonna go to the other one. Uh, we can also fix. this a little bit yeah that's that's okay okay it's all a little temporary uh because you know there are literally no signals on this entire day from here to here and every day because we're not seeing we are oh shit this happened
Ah, okay, yeah, we do. <laughs> oh shit, look at the pollution. Ah. Just as we were talking about the need for signals and everything, uh, this happens. Oh my god. Uh, and that was the smooth brain, so. Uh, Yeah, I'm pretty sure the fuel train destroyed the the train the, the iron train and now iron train took revenge. Does make sense. Uh yeah, we need some steel. Uh one more of you. And uh, so we have Uh okay. Okay. Uh we have some signals on phone. So we can make some more. We have a bunch of iron plates. There you go. There you go. You know what? That's the first thing that we're gonna do. Uh, we're not gonna signal everything, but at least make important bits. Okay. So let's get into our hovercraft. And uh, do that first. Kinda become a priority with that. Uh, the shit show that it just had. Yeah, there we go. That's the that's the iron one. Oh my god. They're literally killing each other. Because I forgot to signal. Shit. Oh fuck! I'm serious. Blah. Okay, how do we want to signal this? Um. So because we have a single rail right now, uh, we can totally upgrade all of it and make it a double and everything. Uh, but for now, because we have a single rail, uh, we're gonna take some hit to the throughput um, and we're gonna signal the whole thing. So whenever there is a train going either way on this track, uh, the other trains are gonna stop. Yeah, which means... Uh, oh, fuck! Which means, oh fuck. Definitely, that's that's the right answer. Yes, yes, that's that's what you said, sir. Yes. Shit. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna close this one. Holy shit! Come on. Ah, yeah, that's that's where the other wreck is. There's quite a pollution though. Do we have any mods that uh, do this kind of a pollution when we sink uh, uh, fluids? Or is that just Crestorio? If it's Crestorio, that's amazing. That's, 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 I did not know that ha that's a thing. If you sink fluid, you get pollution. That's that's more of a I think uh, industrial revolution kind of a feature, right? Um, you know what? I'll shut up and I'll do the job that I'm supposed to do. Wow. Of course, you're not gonna fill up because you don't have uh, the, the the containers. These things. Anyways. Um. Chain in, bail out, um, chain in, bail, oh, 
wrong thing. Level out. Right. So you go there, you go there, and uh, so the train is coming in like so and then going back so in 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 out so we're out of uh, reachables there we go hmm. and uh, this was supposed to be not that uh, go to crude oil providers full cargo go to cool crude oil requester empty cargo and uh, go to refuel station uh, inactivity go so. okay and while that's on its way there is no way that you're gonna get out okay they're so just gonna fill up and do nothing else piece of shit Okay, and we're going to do a similar kind of a setup back on uh, base. Uh, the this thing in this uh, environment is kind of ah, uh, I need a tank, or at least a tankier power wrap. That's that will be good. Uh, <laughs> Ah. Shit! Ah! Ah! Fuck! Ah! I'm gonna save from there. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. That <laughs> huh. That was that was a that was a sight to be told. Uh So holding these, this is one block, this is the other block, this is, these are individual blocks, uh, and this is one block, so that's, yeah, that's exactly what I want. Okay, um, yeah, and then we get this one, uh, full cargo, empty cargo, and Thank you. And you are all set up as well. That's good. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Let's be a little more careful this time. Let's see if this uh, behavior is correct. There it goes. And it goes in. Okay. And uh, then this should turn green. It should now turn green. Oh, because yes, I have to place a uh, signal on the other end. Um. Yeah, we're, we're driving on the on the. Holy 
Holy shit! Uh. Oh, fuck! Yeah, you have to be uh, kind of careful around the rocks because that's where the red wisp came out of, come out of, simply. And then, you know, uh, when we died over there, that, that's how it happened. Uh, because I busted open a rock. I, I mean, you can, you can hit rocks and mine rocks and all of that, but not during the night. Or, you know, that's, that's when the wisps come out. That's, that's their time. So, you gotta be careful about that. Anyways, uh, more signals. So, a train is gonna come this way. So, this guy in. And. Uh. This guy out. Doesn't really work like that? No. Okay. Uh. You know what, I need a bunch of uh, these chain signals for this one. So... Chain in. And the chain middle. Right? And here. And here. And here. Uh, these all of these could be considered a single one. So that's okay, including this one. That's okay. Um, and then chain in, chain in. No, wait. This is. Uh. Yeah, chain in. Okay. Yeah, going out. Okay. Sure. Um. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, there's only one direction that something comes in. But... No. Yeah, like that. When something is going out, then chain in, right? That's that one. And then chain mid, right? And then chain mid again. And chain mid uh, again. And then finally, it will be rail, rail out. Yeah, uh, if something is coming this way, then it will be chain, chain, and then trail, right, yeah, and then uh, this guy here, this guy here, this guy here, Something like that, or it, it can just be in the middle. It's okay. Yeah, this could be in the middle. Even this one. Okay. And then this is uh, just everything else. You know, I mean, I don't think I'm. I need to uh, signal this because usually uh, there's only one train. Going here because of the throughput. Uh, but that's okay. Which one is that? There's no fuel over there. Why? That's weird. Uh, you're getting, you're not getting hydrogen because. 
I have sand before I didn't have stones. Of course, because I was uh, manually feeding this guy. Okay. Okay, you know what? Uh, yeah, remove all of that. Uh, let's place this guy over here and feed this in manually. Yeah. We have a bit of chlorine here, but I don't care. We get rid of all of it. Nice, okay. I like the little Christmas lights. And finally going to get me killed. That's good. Uh okay, bioprocessing is done. Advanced chemistry is also done. Um atmospheric condensation is done. Uh it takes guts to be an auditor. How does the moon cut his hair? It looks good. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, next thing on the list. Getting distracted. Um, oil. These guys. Yeah. Okay. So this is going to be straightforward. Let's just get this over with. We do need uh, titanium. Uh, sorry. We need. We do need uh, lubricant for for mining the titanium so it's kind of important um yeah we did automate refineries in the last episode uh yesterday uh, so we're gonna use that right now uh do we have any of these on us oh and we can also make bio labs from we're just missing iron beams huh you know what let's just do that uh, wait, what's the recipe to make more biomass? Oxygen and petroleum. Not, that's not bad. Okay, and this guy uses biomass. Interesting. But I don't think we'll need uh, the first aid kit. Uh, let's automate some of this stuff. So, atmospheric condenser is something new. Uh, let's do the flare stack as well. Um, and we have mass, like uh, a bunch of this stuff already. Bio lab, I think uh, I just uh, handcraft this one. We can do oil pump jacks and then oil rigs. That's something we can do here. Uh, and then oil rig. Actually, place like here. And then these two can be uh, solar panels and accumulators. Huh. Or can we do this one? Oh, yeah, we can do this one. We don't even need to. Yeah, this is not AI. This is not free exploration. 
we don't have to like do this and then do this and then do that we can just do electric furnaces we need a bunch of electric furnaces for sure uh we also do need regular miners because for electric mining grid mark tools which we actually need uh yeah these are dependent on the electric mining rules we do need the regular mining rules we don't need anything behind them so that's okay uh paste 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 copy paste paste copy paste nice that's a that's a bunch of stuff okay so yeah we were planning on building uh we can do water separation take water and split it to oxygen hydrogen ammonia which is hydrogen and nitrogen uh into ammonia okay uh water is oxygen hydrogen combined back into water like the reverse of that one okay nitric acid is rare metals ammonia mineral water this is nitric acid mineral water is something that we're not found yet uh, i hope we do find that, find that somewhere uh hydrogen chloride is chlorine and hydrogen is hydrogen chloride sure okay uh and biomethanol is oxygen steam and wood so the cool thing about this recipe is that wood is free because wood is just water right and water is infinite so you just pump water into a, a greenhouse and it gives you wood for free oxygen is free because you can just pull it from the atmosphere using a uh, an atmospheric condenser condenser which we just researched and are building right now uh and then steam uh is not free to be honest it needs some fuel right but uh we can use um uh biomethanol itself right that we produce out of this process uh to produce more steam it's kind of a positive loop right so at some point we will have free power right and i i think i remember doing this for the first time in the space exploration playthrough um and i was very uh amazed uh, at how like this is possible even you know it's it's so fucking weird that you're getting free power out of nothing out of just the air um and it's it's super weird uh so yeah i mean uh, should have been like i guess a little more balanced but uh it's there so yeah i i never actually scaled it up i never finished that space exploration playthrough so i don't know if it's actually scalable or if it's you know uh like how do you do this so uh, but anyways uh biomethanol power is something already that we are planning on doing right um and we'll do it uh that's the biomethanol power uh to do uh, on the to-do list so yeah Oh, okay. We can make wood faster if we give it fertilizer. Mm -hmm. And uh, fertilizer is made from biomass and nitric acid. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll experiment with some of these things, I guess. Uh, but moving in. Um, Oh, by the way, we, we got done with uh, our small generator. Uh, we have night vision going on. Uh, we can get started with it. Essentially, yeah, we can give it uh, all the solid fuel, even all the coal. Um, brilliant, we have night vision. 
Ooh. Okay, it's not that dark. But I like it. Also, let's pull up uh, those turrets because we no longer need them and uh, we might need them on the other island when we are mining up um, the titanium. Yeah, good to keep uh, in the pocket. Anyways, uh, so what were we doing? We were figuring out a way to automate um, Wait, uh, yeah, you needed uh, I, uh, an iron beam. There we go. Uh, oh, we can make it now. 10 iron beams. We have like eight, so just a few more. Hmm. It consumed most of our biomass that we had in our on our person. That was actually the last biomass on the island. So if we needed more than that, we would have gone. We have to. We, we would have to go out uh, on you know into the uh, in, on other island and figure out that situation. Anyways, um, so we you know our military science is run on biomass. Uh, it runs on bite biter research data. Biter research data is actually. Um, biomass uh, plus some coke and steel um, and we cannot automate this we have to manually feed this chest right here uh, you know to get it to automate so but now we have a bio lab so we can place one down one bio lab here okay there's only one recipe petroleum and oxygen oxygen is something we can supply um directly like so uh, you can get me water uh, 30 water in 10 seconds that's not much that's 3 water a second yeah that is low uh, you can get me hydrogen you can get me oxygen 30 in 5 seconds yeah okay and then you can get me nitrogen for now we need uh, oxygen to come in uh, let's see what's the ratio here we're producing nine oxygen per second right and consuming only 0 0.833 less than one so yeah oh never mind sure Yeah, there we go. Uh, for the other thing that we need to give it is um, petroleum. We have petroleum on the bus. Yeah, I think we should go grab some uh, undergroundies, underground pipes, and even some uh, regular pipes. Uh, right here. Regular pipes and underground pipe. All right. I think I should move it to like a different corner of the screen. Now this is, I guess, uh, it's better out of the way, you know. Oh, stop. Okay. There we go. So this is extremely slow, but at least it's consistent. And that's what I care about right now, because I don't want like a lot of uh, military science, uh, because we only have like a limited military uh, researches that we care about, to be honest. Um, 
and you know we are, we are going out on to other islands and killing more biters so we'll definitely get more biomass going you know so it's not extremely needed but it's, it's like you know it needs to be there something uh, should be there we base the plan and place the rest of the biomass in there so that starts uh doing its time um way to Ooh, that okay that looks cool <laughs> boom nice okay this um meat you know meat and skin and stuff in the we already made some we made like what one gap so that's good uh what we're gonna do is we will uh feed this chest um how do we feed this chest from there that is the question Oh, okay, this chest is empty, so... Huh, and we don't even have iron. Oh, we brought on iron and copper and steel again. Biofuel is done, what else? Ore enrichment is also done. Okay. Uh, let's do a to-do for ore enrichment as well. To-do... Enrich the freaking iron. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do some enrichment uh, probably on site. You know. Um, yeah, we'll we'll do some enriching probably on site, just like with like mining and smelting. I mean, it's an, it's uh, what I'm saying is uh, maybe not possible, right? Uh, but we'll try. We'll see what we can do in the space given to us. Uh, if it's not possible, then we'll, we'll separate it out. It's okay. That's not a big deal, is it? Uh, oh, wow. Okay. We're completely out of iron. Where's our iron drain? Is it not bringing stuff? Or is it destroyed again? It's supposed to be filling up. Uh-huh. Anyways, uh, uh, yeah, let's just uh, finish this one. We were trying to do, what we were trying to do was, I, I was trying to figure out uh, uh, and make a long-handed inserter just I, I just need a little bit of iron to make one of these i have a i have uh inserters automatic so it's a good idea i think to uh pull shift from here like that put you back uh yeah, we have enough uh, filter inserters, fast inserters are also fine. Actually, yeah, let's just pop up on that. Um, I know that we're getting distracted. I know we're doing stuff that we never really planned for. Uh, but that's the UPO factor, yeah, that's how it ends. <laughs> uh, sorry, oh, not really good. Okay, so you can fill up, or you can do something.
Everything. Okay, so whatever is it's making, it's it's going out here uh, and turning into biter research data. We have a ton of biter research data already backed up on the page. We don't need like a ton of it, right? It's okay if we don't make a lot. Um, but it's fine that it's uh, constantly going. Uh, so that's good. Uh, that's done. Okay, finally we're on track. Uh, we, we, you know, we'll do what we planned out to do, which is uh, figure out uh, advanced oil. Um, hmm. How do I do this without wasting a ton of fluid? Uh, first, let's stop giving it all this. Oh, you've run out of coal of all things. What? Mm. Ah, of course. Ah. Who's designing us this? Who? Who's the idiot who made this? Wait, it's fine. It's actually fine. It's just... Uh, Okay, it does work. It's it's actually fine. Uh, yeah. Just to be sure, we can uh, just move this back by one. And do that. Yeah, so now it will never have that problem again. Okay, we're out of petroleum finally. In these pipes. There's some there. 10. 20. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, I was checking if there's a, there was a burst of pollution. Uh. Yeah, let's just delete all of this. Don't need you. Don't need you. Okay. Uh, let's change the recipe here. You are advanced oil, advanced oil, advanced oil, advanced oil. This is just vanilla advanced oil, so it's not nothing special. We need to feed in water as an extra ingredient. And uh, we need to uh, set up uh, three outputs, heavy oil, light oil, and petroleum gas. Petroleum gas is al already something that is being backed up. It's already there. Um, water. Also, uh, yeah, before, you know, uh, just a word of advice. Uh, okay, enriching iron, enriching lead is a thing copper enriching rare metals ah there's like enrichment for everything enriched lead lead plate from enriched lead okay then all sorts of dirty water this one gives uh, stone and iron and water stone and copper and water stone raw rare metals and water and lead ore and water and then we have the biofuel that's be there Anyways, uh, what I was talking about was that we, uh, you know, it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing when um, Yeah, let's just place these around. I was a little surprised by the color change, but yeah, I realized that it's a steel thing. Um, so yeah, whenever we are doing oil, right, there's a bunch of uh, outputs, right, and you have to balance, you have to crack uh, the, the oil into, you know, uh, their other intermediates, etc, etc. So it's always a good idea to figure out what you need out of it, right, like what is the output that they're expecting. And you have to like basically just mark that out somewhere, right, or note it down, 
and uh, uh, we're gonna do that here. So we need uh, plastic out of this for sure, right? Uh, we don't need to have plastic here, right? We can move plastic somewhere else. That's okay. But we definitely need plastic, right? Uh, something else that we want is um, explosives, right? Uh, we do want, uh, let's not forget, uh, lubricant for sure. And do we want light oil? Uh, we do want light oil, right? Because we want to turn that into fuel. So that's that's something that we want. So I think the most direct things that we can do right now is we can get light oil and we can get um, lubricant uh, and uh, uh, explosives and petroleum is something that we can sort of offload to a separate factory. But uh, yeah, uh, like on on the face on the face value thing of uh, kind of things, uh, if this is this is uh, uh, good enough. We can add more things, so it's not like done done right uh, this is just the stuff that i would think of right now okay uh to feed in the water we just have like a pipe uh, like that uh where is our water pipe uh, let's look at our pipe visualizer we have a water pipe here yeah that is a water pipe where is that going over there what is this? Oh, it's not going anywhere. Okay, that means that we can pull it up and use it. Use the pipes at least, right? Not the water itself, but uh, and we don't have to like go around the whole thing. We can just, yeah, remove this and uh, so that's our setup. This is where the water is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can take the water up by, yeah, let's take this back to the ground and uh, it up from here. Uh, why is this empty? Oh. Hmm. Oh. Okay, let's water. Right there. And yeah, you know what? Just to build some pressure in this system, uh, place a pump. Just so that it makes sure that this pipe is completely full of water. That's it. That starts these things up and uh, gives us all this beautiful, beautiful. Uh, oil. What? Uh, yeah, something like that. So we have like a pipe for light oil going all the way here. This is the same way that we're feeding it, uh, feeding the inputs in, is you know, uh, basically bringing all the outputs out. Um, there's, a, there's another way that you might have seen that you know it uses a lot of uh, uh, undergroundies, right? There's like you know uh, two undergrounds here and then two undergrounds here and two undergrounds here, and then just copy paste that. I kind of like this way because this is a little bit more visual, right? There are throughput issues that people say that you know through because of fluids and stuff and because of all the calculations, there are UPS issues, etc., etc. Uh, in the grand scheme of things. Uh, unless you're mega basing, which you probably are not, you're trying to just finish the base game, uh, it's fine. You don't need to think about those things. Like you're good. Anyways, uh, we definitely need pumps. 
I'm gonna go uh, grab some pumps from the from the mall rather than uh, uh, handcrafting anything. Pumps, 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 pumps. Wait, what? We not have pumps. Uh, pump product, not entity. We are not making any pumps. What the hell? Okay, so this this is the place where we make pumps. Oh, and you need uh, boilers and steam engines. So you know what? Remove this. Uh, remove this. Uh, we need boilers. I'm gonna uh, flush this one. Right? And then I'm gonna reset it. Uh-huh. And uh, apparently you don't need any pumps. That's okay. That's a good thing. Because super weird that uh yeah, we don't have something as basic as that uh, automated yet. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna handcraft it. You win. Uh, pumps there. Paste, paste. Yeah, just give me some pumps real quick. We need steel plates. Okay, this is where the plates are coming in from. Oh. The reason that I'm here and waiting for this to build up instead of handcrafting is because one, I don't have uh, iron plates on me because we're not making enough uh, of iron plates because for some reason, uh, our train that is supposed to supply us with all this uh, all the iron that we need is not coming in uh, and we have to go investigate that that's one thing second thing is that uh, we need a bunch of pumps yeah. like now yeah and we have all this junk on us Cluttering us, cluttering, cluttering our inventory uh, right now. Uh, steel plates. Do you need steel plates? What do you need? You need iron plates or steel plates? You need steel plates. Need the steel plates. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Take another one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's enough. Uh, and then I'll let it go.
Alright. Uh Okay, so we'll have a tank over here and we'll have a tank over here. Uh we don't even have tanks anymore. Uh we're not automating a bunch of stuff. Uh do we have tanks? No, we do do we have these guys? No. God damn it. You need iron, obviously. Hmm. Okay, we can make one more, which is fine. There. Okay. Uh, boom, boom. Okay, so we have the three liquids that are coming in, and the inputs are also sorted. Um, now the way that we do this is we crack. Oh, I did not. Uh, we have some chemical plants. I think we need more. Definitely need uh, more. What is the stack size? Stack size of chemical plants is 10. Sure, 10 is good. Uh, I have 5, so I think uh, 15 would be pretty good. I am pretty sure we are automating chemical plants right there. Yeah. Also, we can take one refinery. And we can place this electrolysis plant uh, back where? Right there. Uh, yeah, we can dump some of these things. Um, so, yeah, so whatever stuff that we, you know, stop building there or refuse to build there. Can start building that right here uh, this is gonna be this guy and then we can make a, a electric furnaces that's good yeah we can take the rest of the bricks uh, is there anything else that we want to uh, mass produce not really i think we're good for now um okay and uh, fuel refinery is something we can actually no we'll, we'll keep it we'll keep it we need we need the fuel refinery for stuff gonna copy paste you and place you there okay yeah Make sure that you know these pipes are always empty or close to empty and everything in there is going into the tank 
Mitä tekee? Okay, let's get started with packing. Uh, so place you there. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the. I think we'll we'll so the way that you do it, uh, you packing is by priority. Okay, so we've pretty much established that we do need a uh, light oil and we do need a uh, lubricant. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna remove this one real quick. Uh, I know I got a bunch of coal out of that, but we can turn it. We have nitrogen equipment, so that's good. Um, so we can start doing some lubricant uh, first. Right, that's the that's the goal. Uh, for heavy oil, we can start turning that into lubricant, and then whatever is left out of that goes into uh, cracking. Right. Uh, we also need one more tank for the lubricant. Yeah, something like that, right there. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Huh. That's better. So the way we establish priorities, right, is using these guys, right? The big, just because there is a um, pump here, right, all the fluid that we push into uh, a pipe will go into the pump. So we'll place this pipe over here. Oh, sorry, pump by one. yeah and uh, just because the pump is pushing stuff and pulling stuff from that one uh ensure that we have um Yeah. There you go. So all of the heavy oil that is coming out is getting turned into lubricant right now. Okay, that's that's what it what it does with the lubricant. Uh, the rest of the heavy oil we'll uh, go here okay um we're just uh, you know this, this is just a placeholder right now uh, just to establish a little bit of yeah okay uh the rest of the heavy oil gets turned into light oil okay i think we for five of these we only need like one of this and then uh, the rest of the light oil that we're producing it's turned into petroleum and i think we need six of this that's the that's the ratio because that's that's the that's what i remember um we'll use grade calculator uh, to verify this um actually let's do that right now so huh 
Ah, so for five uh, of these, we need one of, um, I'm sorry, what? Sixty minus ninety. Wait. Okay. So what we can do is we can do this, right? And it tells us how much it's gonna produce. And we can do shift and drag and add this in. So now uh it's saying that I'm producing twenty five, but I'm consuming thirty, right? So with just one, it's gonna consume all of the heavy oil if it if it has access to it, right? which means that we don't need uh, any more of it and we're not going to put a pump here right we're just gonna feed this guy in directly uh, and we're out of uh, pipes let's go get uh, get some pipes we have some uh, iron on us a bunch of iron uh which, which we picked up uh, from the chest uh, but i don't want to use it for making pipes like just pipes is like the worst way to uh spend your iron but we don't have an option right now apparently huh because all of it is getting turned into pipe to grounds Okay, sure. We will just use it. We'll just use it to craft. Yeah. So there's two inputs here. Uh water and um heavy oil. So I'll have to want to I'll have to move this down a little bit. This is where the heavy oil comes in and underground. This is where Yeah, this is where the water comes in. Uh Yeah, I guess the, the the rest of the cracking can happen uh, right here. Uh, water. Where is the water? Oh, it's right there. There you go. Okay. So the rest of the heavy oil, which is not being used for lubricant, right? So what you will see is that, uh, you know, this pump was working just now. And what was happening was that as soon as we made some heavy oil, uh, we, we pumped that into this guy. And then whatever was left of it was only here, right? That's why this pipe is completely empty. There's like some trace amounts here. We have like 1.4. We don't want this running um, uh, at all, right? If if we don't have lubricant, right? That's the priority. Um, now, for light oil, right? Um, let's see. 
So for light oil, what we want to do is we want to push that back into this guy. Right? Something like that. Ah, uh, we're out of underground leaves. Ah, uh, okay. Underground leaves are not something that I'm uh, and, and, uh, crafting. For sure. Honestly, we don't have much space to play with here. Usually, we need like more space, definitely. Um, so, yeah, it's a little congested, but bear with me. Okay, so just to empty out the whole thing, we'll do this, uh, and then for uh... so now here's the thing okay uh, we can take all the light oil and uh, crack it uh, into petroleum right but we need petroleum for other things right but we also need light oil for that so we want to make sure that we don't crack it too much right otherwise we we'll uh, soft lock ourselves into a situation where we have a lot of petroleum and we have no light oil because all of that got cracked in. Right? That, that's exactly the situation we are in right now where we have, you know, this full uh, tank of petroleum and we don't have anything, uh, any light oil in there. So, yeah, so we want to make sure that uh, these two, because we don't need both of these for different things. Uh, uh, both of these should be equal, right? Kinda, right? They should be. The, the, both these tanks should be full, or at least at at, at the same level, right? And we need to have like a system, uh, like a smart system that does that for us. So, yeah. So, um, do that. Right to build that smart system uh, to uh, smartly only uh, crack right if we need to right is um, we have to figure out need right so for that we need some green wire and uh, we'll hook up all of these tanks okay we don't need to hook up all of them we we just need to do these two right but we'll just do that. Uh, for the rest as well um and then we'll we can uh hook this one to this uh power pole going all the way down and then when we hover over this one we see exact values of how much stuff that we have of each of those things right so we have 25k which is like a full tank of petroleum we don't have like we have barely have 2000 uh light oil and uh a, you know, barely thousand lubricant right and there is no uh, 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 what's it called um, what is this a heavy oil yeah there is no heavy oil in the system at all right it is zero or close to zero it doesn't matter uh, anyways so uh, the deal is um, that uh, we need to feed this guy light oil okay um, right here 
Uh, we also need to keep this guy. Uh, actually, yeah. So, like I mentioned, I think we need uh, more of these. Six of these, to be exact. That's five more, yeah. Okay. That's 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 not it. Um, for the light oil, right? Uh, instead of doing this, instead of pumping it in, we just place it like that. So we have light oil here, and also it is pipe, and uh, and then you can be bring that in, kind of. So. Yeah, so we can, you know, start to crack it if uh, we, yeah, if we do that, just so that you know, this pipe does not connect with it. Um, oh, no, not not what we need to do. Uh, there, 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 there. Okay, and. Uh, can have a pump over here okay now here's here's the thing uh we have the values for right we'll bring that in power the pump uh and then we can save or you know what let me let me just finish this let me just complete this one uh yeah craft all of that One more pipe thank you all right okay that's uh hooked up uh, what do we need we need uh yeah we need a condition on this okay so uh the output of this entire recipe is petroleum right and the input is light oil so we want these to start we want these to start doing their thing when there is more light oil than petroleum okay so when there is when light oil is greater than petroleum when light oil is greater than petroleum than these things right uh we but actually, yeah, we had like very little light oil. So while we were configuring it, it took some minutes for it started. But yeah, actually, we, we don't want it to start until we have enough light oil and uh, it's more than petroleum. What's going to happen is as soon as even, you know, by a bit, the light oil is you know above uh, uh, more than petroleum. Uh, it, this guy is going to start, going to start cracking. And it's gonna maintain that level, right? It's gonna make sure that uh, all the light oil is uh, converted to petroleum, right? Which not oil, but just wherever the uh, inequality is, right? So both those levels will, will the levels will stay the same, and uh, they will slowly sort of uh, outstep each other uh, till they reach the top of the tank, right? So yeah, that's. And it's, uh, it's a very simple thing. Light oil is greater than petroleum, and it's actually gonna read these two values next to the light oil and the petroleum in the in the in the wire. And boom, that's that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, this one actually, uh, yeah, we could do something like this. Yeah, this is this looks much later. Let's put 
like that. Instead of the whatever we were doing. Looking at the pipe visualizer, so we don't have the latest pipe visualizer. The latest one, the new one looks really cool. Uh, Rygard has done like an excellent job on that. Uh, but just looking at this, so yeah, we're putting uh, the crude oil and you know, uh, getting ourselves three things petroleum, light oil, and heavy oil. Uh, they're not coming out in equal quantities, like if I do this. Uh, you know, the, the five of these are, are producing 55 petroleum gas, 45 light oil, and 25 heavy oil, right? So heavy oil is coming out the least, uh, which we're turning into lubricant, right? Which is this one. Three of these are turning that really, really quickly, uh, you know, taking that input and turning it into lubricant and pushing that into that tank right there. Uh, uh, we're getting slightly more. 45 uh, of uh, light oil uh, right now our light oil is kind of stuck right we're not making more because we're packed up on petroleum uh, in the whole system right there's like petroleum in these things and until we don't get it out it's not gonna process more right so i think we need to sort of uh, use the petroleum somewhere right that's that's the thing um yeah but then until we're able to do that it's gonna get stuck like that uh and we're, yeah that's the uh, the one thing that we're making most of is petroleum uh and then we have set up uh, uh tracking so you know all the hard uh hard heavy why, why do, okay why am i thinking of hard water or name it no i all the heavy oil is going to turn into lubricant first but as soon as this tank is full the rest of the heavy oil is going to go uh, automatically into this one. There is no pump here, right? So it's organically going to this one, getting trapped into uh, light oil. Right? Light oil is flowing two ways here. So it's going left into the tank, right, where there is space, uh, but uh, there are no pumps here. Uh, and it can organically go this way as well, right? There is a pump here, though, uh, which is stopping the flow to this direction. And what this pump is saying is that, hey, if there is more light oil in this tank uh, uh, than there is petroleum in this tank, and it's kind of comparing the two, and it's saying if there's more light oil in the system, then turn that light oil into petroleum, right? One final thing we have not done is we're not hooked up the petroleum from here into this line right here. And that's the last thing that we'll do. That completes our system. Uh, turn that off. Uh, yeah, although our uh, system is not exactly complete, complete because um, we will have to uh, figure out. Yeah, let's not waste pipe here. Uh, Something like that. Hmm. Yeah, that's that makes sense. Um Yeah, let's handcraft these guys. And now our is complete. So now uh, we have yeah, made some space for petroleum to go into, right? Uh, these pipes actually uh, was the extra space. Because of that, now some of these guys are running. Uh, they're producing all of that because you know all the petroleum has some space to go out. But yeah, it's gonna stop again in a bit. Yeah, and none of these are running because yeah, we have like these are in the minority still, right? So they're not gonna run until they're in the majority. Uh, yeah, but we've got some uh, light oil, and all the heavy oil is getting turned into lubricants. We've got some good amount of lubricant, not a good amount, but yeah, some lubricant. I think we need to have certain use for this. We need to keep sort of 
using this uh, if we want to uh, keep the system going, right? So I think one good use for it is um, these guys, gas power station. We're, we're, we are automating these. Uh, we can just go and uh, grab these right now. Where are these? Right here. Ten. That's okay. Stack size ten. In a few. That's good. The gas power station. Uh, yeah, it says it says it says in the description. I'm just reading the description right here. Uh, burns fluid to produce energy. Inefficient but easy. So yeah, it uh, it's inefficient uh, because I mean. I mean, it just, yeah, it just burns the fluid, right? Um, and it, it can burn, I think it can burn any fluid that has a fuel value, right? Um, and petroleum definitely has a fuel value. Although light oil also has uh, a fuel value. Let's check. Uh, light oil has a fuel value of 900 kilojoules and a fuel pollution of 120%. Heavy oil, uh, is, wait, that's 900. Okay, this is half that at 450 and more fuel pollution at 130%. Uh, petroleum, um, this one has 900 kilojoules, same as light oil, but fuel pollution is less at 125. Oh no, more. Huh. Well, anyways, uh, I guess we're okay. Uh, causing some pollution because uh, that petroleum until you find like a real use for it it has to go somewhere for sure um, by we got uh, 10 so there and uh, Yeah, so they, they connect to each other uh, through these connections. Are they sure? Yeah, they sure. So they are all connected to each other. That's good. Um, and then we just need to feed uh, some of this petroleum into this stuff. Oh, that can't do that here. Huh. Okay. Uh, can do that from here though. Apologies if this is loud. We are now using uh, petroleum 
directly for power uh, and uh, gas power stations are producing power no oh they're producing more power and then uh, these guys are producing less power so that's okay uh, yeah we need to lay off on the on the polluting things and uh, this is also polluting but uh, I guess and that gives some space for the petroleum to go so we will be producing more yeah so that that gives uh, some sort of leeway for this to keep getting used even if slowly right and uh, that's when uh, these guys will fire up again as soon as they're out of you know whatever petroleum they're holding uh, and then you know that gives some sort of room for the recipe to keep going and uh, filling these guys out so that's uh that's done yeah it's not the perfect solution uh because uh we have not uh done proper um you know petroleum usage right petroleum is used in a bunch of things uh just to demonstrate um Alt shift. No, that okay. Wait. Uh, recipe book. Petroleum. They used in plastic. They used in sulfur, which is used in sulfuric acid. So once we get started with refining our ore, uh, uh, getting uh, you know, what, what's it called again? Um, enriched iron right so that needs sulfuric acid so once we start doing that uh we're really going to be using a lot of petroleum right um because that turns into sulfuric acid and sulfuric acid turns into this other thing that we can start doing is uh you, you know making uh, explosives we don't really need explosives a lot of the a lot of these explosives are not needed so it's like a one-time process and like we need some of them uh, batteries use sulfuric acid. So that's that's a constant draw. Another one, uh, and then plastic is obviously uh, one of the things that we're going to do with petroleum uh, again. So it has a bunch of uses. Um, and we're going to make all of those things. Uh, maybe over here, you know, um, but definitely not in line, right? Like we were doing. Um, so instead of this belt bringing the, uh, all this plastic in from this direction, I think we're going to reverse the belt, uh, bring it from the bottom, and uh, yeah, doing that over here, I guess. Oh, you know what? I have some, uh, I have some of these uh, input lines still in my pocket. Maybe we can use them right now and uh, get some. Yeah, this four is fine. Yeah, let's just start get making uh, plastic bars. Why not? Uh, do we need more space for this? Um, we kind of do. Kind of do. Yeah, we don't have enough space in this area for sure. Hmm. Yeah, actually, yeah, we were cluttering it before. I don't think I want to clutter it more. So I guess we'll we'll touch on uh, uh, plastic uh, somewhere up there. Plastic, 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 plastic. We do. Please confirm, and we'll do plastic somewhere in this area. I don't know where, but yeah. Uh, and we'll place that on the bed like we were doing with the other things uh what else were we planning on doing we were planning on batteries uh, that's already marked out uh sulfuric acid is already there um oh, you Okay. I don't know. 
Okay. Uh, what do you next? Uh. So we have we are automating uh, light oil and we are automating um lubricants, right? Uh, light oil is needed to make fuel. Um, where is that? So if it is that a minute. We want to make fuel eventually, not here maybe, but we, we definitely want to make this guy, right? Uh, we do want to do, do that and we do want to make uh, explosives. Explosives is not very important, but yeah, I, I guess these two are pretty important. They're constantly needed by the factory for science and other stuff. Huh, okay. So to make fuel, uh, that's basically the lifeblood of our trains, right? Um, right here, uh, we definitely need fuel from light oil. So turn all the light oil into fuel. That's okay. That, that's a good start to And then, yeah, so that we will be stored up there, or we we'll just move it up. Yeah, something like that. Oh, there is like an underground bringing in petroleum. Uh, yeah, we don't need them. Petroleum all the way out there. But we do need the uh, light oil. So here's the thing. Um, Light oil does not end up on the bus. Lubricant does. Okay, because light oil is something that we don't need in a lot of places. Uh, light oil, uh, it's an ingredient in cracking, which we're already doing. Solid fuel, uh, and turning that solid fuel into rocket fuel. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's okay. That's one use for it. It's, but rocket fuel is still unresearched. Uh huh. Okay, I think light oil does uh, deserve a spot on on the bus uh, because we will be bringing it in for the mass producing uh, rocket fuel. We need a lot of. Uh, how much rocket fuel do we get? Actually, you need. Okay. Uh, we need it for science, for sure, okay? So, uh, sorry, not utility tech cards, okay? Uh, explosive turret rockets, uh, heavy rocket, not really. Satellite also needs rocket fuel, which is again related to science. So we do need to automate it, right? And then nothing else, that's okay. Plutonium fuel is, yeah, we'll, we'll, get, to, we'll get to it and we'll get to it. It's uh, a little further uh, down the tech tree. Uh, but yeah, rocket fuel uh, makes uh, this kind of important. But for now, all we can use it for is to make um, uh, you know just uh, putting over it a regular fuel. Right? So we just take this well directly instead of putting it on our bus or anything. For now, we just do it. This way. There you go. And that just gives me um Look. Yeah, let's get rid of this of course. Also in our uh, small portable generator. Uh, let's fill this up with fuel. That's actual real fuel.
uh, all the school can go. Yeah, right there. Me too. Okay, feels uh, slightly better. Uh huh. It's uh, get a save off uh, right there. Uh, we're not ending the stream just yet. Uh, although we are at time right now. Um, but uh, looking at this list, uh, titanium is next. Uh, I was planning on you know going offshore and uh, getting some of that sweet sweet titanium today. Um, but I guess we could not do that because that's like a task in itself, you know. Uh, the reason we are not able to do it right now is because we don't have enough um, lubricant, right? We need like a consistent supply of lubricant and we need a train uh, like at least one tank full uh, or 10,000 of this at least to fill this one, right? This, uh, 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 fluid value uh, full of lubricant which we can then send uh, over to here right somewhere here we'll have like another station another stop uh, and then we'll turn that into barrels huh actually yeah you know what uh, instead of fluid train we'll have like a regular train and uh, turn lubricant into barrels feed that into that train that train goes uh, and loads those barrels and we'll have to barrel it. And we'll have a cargo ship that goes from here uh, and then takes that, takes like a hard lift into this area, uh, goes to this one, but this is most easily reachable. There is a nest over here, but you know, uh, we can deal with it pretty easily. Yeah, so we can we can get this. We can also maybe uh, get this one, uh, and then both of these can be uh, fed onto maybe a train, right? Uh, uh, and uh, or maybe we can just use belts. You know? uh, just use belts uh, and containerization machines and the containers and barrels and the cargo ship comes here and everything gets fed into it and it goes back and then it, you know takes the empty barrels or those full lubricant barrels and empty containers etc etc just that's the loop right um yeah but i guess we'll have to get to it uh, in the next one uh yeah not much was achieved today we were just uh, dealing with a lot of randomness um hmm. should we set up batteries today i think the one thing that we can do is we can figure out what happened to uh the train that was you know that was supposed to bring in uh our iron yeah that's the one thing that we should do definitely because that's kind of important Why is it waiting though? This is a red signal. Why is this a red signal? Oh, oh, because these are. Hmm. Why is this? There is nothing. Oh. There's obviously something there. So, uh, okay. 
Uh, do we have like a train something? No, we don't. Uh, can we ride a baggage? There's a baggage. Can we ride it? We can't ride it. We need a local. So, never mind. Okay, let's pick the train system. Uh, and then we we'll call it. Shit! Then I'm already a little joined out. We can't partially, uh, we can't choose to uh, do this partially. We have to do this proper. Okay, so uh, chain in and uh, out. Let's place that here. And then, uh, in, in, and rail out. So that's two of you, one of you. That's done, okay. And that one, and that one. Okay, so looking at Oh, it's already left. It's on its way. Also, since we have like a high traffic uh, situation right now and well, it's with signaling and everything, uh, there's one more thing that we kind of have to do and we kind of uh, put off for later. Uh, and that is uh, refill containers, right? So apparently there is a situation where I'll just place this somewhere. Uh, apparently, whenever you unload a container, right? Whenever you take a full container, let's say for lead plates, and then you produce, uh, you know, a, an empty container and a uh, bunch of plate plate right to so kind of unload the lead plate um, uh, if you look at the recipe there is 99% chance for you get back that empty container which means that there is 1% chance that you don't get back anything right you get back the lead for sure right but you don't get back the container the container is lost to time it's you know it kind of like i mean thematically it kind of breaks and uh, you don't get it back right you just the, uh, the, the unloading process kind of breaks it right the machine is not perfect and uh, in those scenarios um we want our trains you know so the trains are expecting all the trains like looking at the late one because oh right there yeah so the lead uh, the lead um uh, uh, train uh, once it goes to our requester station and uh, you know it's it's expecting two containers out of it right it's expecting that uh, two containers come out right but there is a there is a chance there is a very low chance so there is still a chance that two containers do not come out maybe one does or maybe none of them do right um, so in that case something needs to happen right otherwise the train will be stuck over there so so that's something that we need to figure out we kind of put it off for later uh, just like we put off signaling for later but now that we're doing it we might as well complete it properly uh, you know just so that we have uh, a system where our you know our trains just don't stop right because they're out of containers and stuff 
Okay. Uh, wait, where are we? Yeah. Oh, the other thing shit. that we want to do is we're gonna go and uh, check why uh, on Earth is. Fuck you. Fuck you. Ah. Uh, I hate this thing. Absolutely hate it. Especially with the hovercraft, oh, because fuck. the hovercraft is shit. Can't do much. Fuck. Yeah, like loses half the health. It, oh, 66. It had lost one third of its health just by hitting a rock. Sometimes it loses half. It's, yeah. We, we need a better health, uh, hovercraft for sure. Holy shit. Yeah, or maybe aircraft. It has to be very nice. Huh? Or, or a tank. Shit! Ah. Okay. Keep going. Yes! Yes! By the way, all this rock that I'm hitting, and it's like dropping stone on the on the ground. I am picking it up, right? It gets picked up, which is super weird. Uh, but apparently, uh, it gets. Holy shit! That's that's how Factorio works. Shit! I guess. Ah. Uh, oh, fuck no. Okay. Now, what's your problem? You are. Oh. Oh. You do what? You don't have any containers. Okay, sure. Take two. Take two that I have on me. Yeah, why not? was a very stupid problem to have. I think I did feel it uh, two containers. So maybe I forgot to and then... Anyway, this is running fine. Uh, except only dying. Uh, and yeah, so these are already done. We can put the uh, efficiency modules in there uh, just to make it really more efficient. Um, uh, we can also have like another column over here and a third column over here because we're mass producing uh, these miners now, so we don't have to like handcraft these anymore. That's good. Um, oh, and we are we don't need uh, to bring in fuel. Yeah, we can completely remove this uh, because we have electric furnaces now. So we can have like a newer, uh, you know, a new um, uh, blueprint, right? Which uses uh, these electric furnaces and it's super efficient in terms of like pollution and everything. So yeah, I, I guess we should like, uh, you know, do that everywhere. Uh, that's another to do, yeah. Like so much, so much to do, man. Electric furnace. Right. Uh, we'll have to figure out priority, and then you know that's that's the way you do it, essentially. Uh, to do titanium. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Uh, all right. Okay, so yeah, that, that's a good spot to leave, uh, like, it's just up there, uh, save, and, uh, yeah, uh, thank you so much for dropping by, um, you guys are awesome, um, I'm, I'm sort of heavily, I'm, I'm always, like, obliged 
uh, like uh, humbled by by the by the amount of people that I see on stream. So it's it's really awesome. Uh, so thank you so much again. Um, uh, we are not gonna be raiding today because I don't. Yeah, I see there's like one. There's only one viewer, and um, yeah, I kind of usually see that when it's just me and there's nobody else. I don't know. I don't actually know if there's anyone else. Um, so yeah, let's not raid today. I'll just stop streaming. Um, not streaming, but I'll stop the stream. Stay stream. Yeah, that's. Uh, I, yeah, my brain is all like screwed up, so I can't even uh, figure out words right now. Uh, but anyways, thanks for dropping by. See you tomorrow. Uh, bye.